what we need a uh, blender salt alcohol but this needs to be chilled um, I just need this extension rod for the blender um, warm water it's actually warm a container is warm glass container pineapple juice would be to use a contact lens solution and then strainer detergent soap and then of course our fruit this is a pomelo I got it from Treasure Tree there we got pomelos there and then I already have it um, peeled and cut so let's start place a cup of your chosen fruit in the blender add a pinch of salt and add one cup of warm water Blend on high for 15 seconds. This process enables the cell to break for it to open so that the DNA will be released. However, take note not to apply too high setting while blending as this might destroy the cell. Now that you have your cell suit, pour this into another container through a strainer. Press it with a spoon to get maximum yield of DNA. Add about 2 tablespoons of liquid detergent and mix it for 5 minutes. This breaks down the lipids in the cell membrane and nuclei since DNA will be released when these are disrupted. Rest for 10 minutes to ensure completion in the disruption of cell membrane. Fill to one-third a test tube or small glass container with the cell soup. Then add a small amount of solution containing the proteolytic enzyme. This protease degrades the DNA-associated proteins and other cellular proteins to get a clean sample of DNA. Incubate the container by submerging in a 60-degree Celsius warm water. Then tilt the container and slowly add a chilled ethanol until you have the same amount of alcohol in the tube as the mixture. Since DNA is soluble in water but insoluble in the presence of salt and alcohol, thus expected to float upon the addition of alcohol. <laughs> 